So we're going to show you how we do an applied kinesiology assessment of immune issues. In this case, we have a fairly mild immune issue, just a little bit of congestion. Um, we did some preliminaries and tested through. So with kinesiology, we, we can start from you know a variety of ways. I looked at her posture, and I found that her gracilis muscle was weak. And it's not that she's windy. Push because you can see I can push, 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 increase that pressure, and she can match it very easily. Here, as soon as I begin the pressure, it goes. So we did, <clears throat> we did rubbing, which is parasympathetic. So if an organ system needs parasympathetic, uh, a parasympathetic shift, that means it needs to kind of chill out. Um, we'll strengthen to the massage. Pinching is sympathetic, so what we found is on top of the right shoulder is the visceral referred pain area for thymus. And when we pinch that area, she could hold, I could increase my pressure, and so we know what organ system to go to. Now the reason for the boxes again is just efficiency. So we have these broken into categories and I always tell people that <clears throat> pretty much anything you've ever heard of is is in these categories or in, in these boxes to be considered. So food allergies and uh, mold and lime and all of those things are are in here. <clears throat> so this just makes it very simple to to quickly scan and see what her body reacts to. We know that the thymus reflux is over on the right side of the ribs. So we put the box over there and we check foods comes up. We check infections, which is on the other side of the box, and don't change. Foods. Oh. Harder, come on. It just goes away, doesn't it? It does. And infections. And we can crank up. We'll check other immune, which is going to be your environmental chemicals. No reaction there and your heavy metals, and no reaction there. So how about that? Like you're trying to figure out, you know, where to begin, and you know, right there, just through her neurologic response, we have some clues. Now we can go to her labs and match that. If it's a true allergen, we'll see elevated eosinophils. If it's um, j just liver congestion and we're reacting because of that, we'll see patterns of that. So we still don't know what food, so we'll have her connect to that thymus reflex, and then I'll connect to the different foods. So nightshades, and corn, and wheat, and yeasts, brewer's yeast, baker's yeast. I have coffee, eggs, all common allergens. And when we get over, I already tested this on her, we get to dairy, we get a weakening effect. So we want to still see if we can help her body deal with that response. You know, sometimes it's a true allergen and we just need to stay away from that food. So, so we don't want to stop there. We want to actually see if there's something we can do to help that body response. So we get a weakening effect to dairy. It's affecting her thymus gland. We have a symptom. We didn't run the labs on her. Um, it's a pretty small problem, so we're not going to get overly diagnostic about it. Uh, so we went to remedies. So what could we use for a dairy allergy, sensitivity, or any reaction when it's a digestive reaction? Because it's immune system, we're thinking, you know, something inflammatory, though. We know that there are certain herbs that treat uh, allergies. We know there are certain herbs that treat histamine that detox, that support that gland, that support the adrenals so that you're less sensitive. And we went through and we checked, I don't know, a half dozen different things and we decided on goldenrod and we put that with the dairy and we got a nice correction. So, <clears throat> With a little problem like this, we may just apply the, the remedy. Again, I was telling Laura recently that 
there's not a recorded death from taking these things. So it's pretty low downside. Um, and in a couple weeks or a week, if it's not getting any better, we can do more diagnostics. But in this case, I'd probably just maybe lay off the area a little bit, take the golden rod, and report back the symptoms. And that would be it. But that's a quick, quick scan of how we can go through the immune system and treat inflammation using applied kinesiology.